Every morning in the wild, a gazelle awakens. One thing is for sure for the gazelle that day, as every other. She must run faster than the fastest lion. If she cannot, she will be killed and eaten. Every morning, a lion awakens. For the lion too, one thing is certain. This day and every day, he must run faster than the slowest gazelle. Whether fate names you a gazelle or a lion is of no consequence. It is enough to know that with the rising of the sun, you must run, and you must run faster than the day before for the rest of your days, or you will die. We all have to run. Run the race of life. The smartest survival trick on Earth is to take to the skies, equip yourself with killer weapons, and become the ultimate invisible predator, a hunter from the skies. These creatures have eyesight second to none and beaks like talons. They have taken the art of flight to a whole new level. Their prey has no idea they're coming. Even their faces are adapted for precision hunting. Some fly by day and others by night. There is no time when you're safe from these predators. They are fierce, determined, and prepared to fight for their food. Falcon, owl, or eagle, these are the true masters of the aerial race of life. The most spectacular race of life on our planet ran for 135 million years. It was a race of giants, animals the size of buses with teeth as big as dagger's. That race ended abruptly 65 million years ago. The dinosaurs. But they are not really dead. T Rexes and Velociraptors no longer roam the Earth. But their descendants do. 10,000 different varieties. They have scales and claws, and most of them can fly. The most ferocious birds in the sky are large, strong, and fast. They are known for their powerful talons and beaks. They are the raptors, the birds of prey. They are the supreme predators of the air, from the mountains of Eurasia to the forests of America. Death can swoop down at any time. Animals on the ground spend their lives running and hiding from these finely tuned aerial hunters. This is their race of life. The race of life of the raptors. Beneath the treetops lives an apex predator. Alone in his ivory tower, the king of birds prepares to do what he does best. Regal, powerful, and magnificent. The eagle, one of the biggest birds in the sky, 
and one of the deadliest. Eagles are large birds of prey. They are perfectly honed to be supreme hunters and efficient killers. These perfect predators perform at their best in large open spaces, places where they can fly high and see for miles. One of the largest eagles in the world lives in a land of desert, rocks, and open plains. The wedge-tailed eagle. These distinctive birds live in Australia and New Guinea. Like all eagles, her eyesight is over three times more accurate than ours. And her talons are like daggers. She spotted something in the grass. A rabbit flashes the alarm. She can dive at 70 kilometers an hour. The rabbit can also run at 70. It's an even match. A race of life, and both players have an equal chance of winning. The wedge-tailed eagle has won. She gets to eat. But tomorrow, she will have to race again. The poster girl of the eagle world lives in the mountains and plains of North America and Eurasia. She can be trained to hunt animals as big as wolves. These crows are not about to stay and pick a fight. The golden eagle. With a two-meter wingspan and talons as big as a child's finger, the golden eagle was always going to beat the crows in this race of life. They can fly fast and far, and most have no natural predators. The bald eagle. Impressive aviator and proficient fisherman. Under the bald eagle has been selected as the symbol of the USA. It also helps that he's very handsome. The fastest living animal on earth is a bird of prey. He can be found from the Arctic to the tropics. This one has a family to feed. The pressure is on to find food fast. The peregrine falcon. He's preparing to take off, always alert. He has two hungry mouths waiting. Success. A good hunter will breed strong chicks. Falcons prefer to eat birds. Their wings are custom built for the aerial acrobatics needed to catch them. Farmers' fields are ideal open spaces for hunting. The falcon scans the sky. He sees something in the distance. Unlike eagles, falcons' wings are slim and sharp-edged. These birds thrive on pure speed. A diving peregrine clocks over 300 kilometers an hour. At top speed, the air pressure could damage the bird's lungs. So they have special bones in their nostrils to break up the airflow. The falcon starts the chase. A rock dove has seen the predator. The falcon hesitates, then in go the wings. He drops into a high-speed dive. He's aiming for the dove's wings. The dove dives too. Got it.
After a touch of preparation, the peregrine gets a hearty meal. The rock dove put on a spectacular escape, but this is the day he lost his race of life. Falcons are experts at catching smaller birds in flight. This is how they win their race of life. A small falcon with a spectacular skill lives close to these grasslands. She's gray and brown with delicate features. But she is still a killer, the kestrel. This is one on her way home. Her partner helps with looking after the kids. He will stay with her for life, but the chicks will fly the nest soon when they're four to five weeks old. Kestrels have a wingspan of less than a meter, but it's what they do with their wings that makes them stand out. This parent is out hunting again. She's after small animals living in the grass, mice, reptiles, or even insects. The field has just been harvested, attracting lots of birds. The kestrel has seen a mouse. She hovers, then drops. Hovering is very difficult, but kestrels are ex experts. They face into the wind and use tiny movements in their wings and tail to stay over the same spot. They can lock onto their prey and take perfect aim before they fire. Another parent is looking for signs of a mouse. He could be in luck. Even his dive is precisely controlled. Nothing this time. You must try again. Kestrels have another amazing ability. They can see ultraviolet light. And this takes our parent to his prey. This mouse marks his trails in the grass with urine. Mouse urine reflects UV light so the kestrel can see ribbons of rodent trails in the field below. He's got the mouse in his sights. He lines himself up for the strike. He's on target. Kestrel has used all of his talents to win the race of life today. Kestrels can have up to seven chicks. You would definitely need to be an expert hunter to feed that many hungry mouths. But the chicks are running the race of life even before they leave the nest. At least one of this lot will probably die. As they fight for food, they are fighting for their lives. Chicks that are small or weak will not manage to get any food. It's brutal, but for kestrels, it is the only way to make sure the strongest survive. The bare bones of a dry land are home to a bird closely connected to the dead. It's a bird that will strip a body down to its skeleton. A bird that seeks out carcasses. Its presence is seen as a sign of impending death. The vulture. He's easily recognized by his bald head and sharp hooked beak. Vultures are birds of prey, but they do not hunt and kill. Their prey is already dead. Vultures feed on the rotting meat of dead animals. Some can smell a carcass from over a kilometer away. 
They are designed by nature for ripping the flesh from large animals. Surrounded by death, the vulture runs his race of life. As well as the distinctive head, vultures have long, broad wings and strong, sharp talons. The vulture's race of life is against his companions and other predators. If there's food lying around, it's not so easy to just turn up and take it. If you're a smart vulture, you can be at the right place at the right time. Beaches used by turtles for breeding are a bonanza for vultures. A beach is covered with turtle nests and the bodies of exhausted female turtles. This is the time for throwing out the rule book and eating living food. Turtle eggs and even newly hatched turtle young are on the menu for the vultures dining here. But word has got around and the competition for food is tough. The best place to be a vulture is where lots of large animals are likely to die, the African savannah, where the largest herds on earth move across the plains in their search for food. And home to hundreds of hungry predators, every day Countless of large animals are hunted and killed by lions, leopards, cheetahs, and crocodiles. Once the hunter has had his fill, the vultures move in. But vultures are not the only scavengers here. The giraffe carcass attracts hyenas, and they're prepared to fight for their share. Today, it looks as though there's enough meat for everyone, so the competing scavengers are calm. The vulture's bald head is convenient for digging into carcasses, but it also helps to keep their blood cool in the hot African sun. Despite their ugly reputation, these vultures are providing a vital service. By eating away any rotting meat, they are keeping the grasslands clean and free of disease. This wildebeest has lost his race of life, probably to a lion. He doesn't know it, but he's helping the vultures win their race. Vultures are spectacular kings of the air. They can soar up high on warm air currents to get a real bird's eye view of the plains below. This male can maneuver his wing feathers to finally adjust his flight. He has seen signs of a kill. Time to find a vantage point and have a good look around. If a vulture can't find a carcass, he will look for signs of a hunt, a pride of lions or a pack of hunting dogs. They've spotted some hyenas. Time to move in. This time, the hyenas are not so keen to share. The vultures must wait their turn. A dead buffalo looks more hopeful, but a much larger predator has got there first, and he's not in the mood for sharing. The vultures will not take the risk of fighting with a full-grown lion. But these scavengers will not leave the lion to eat in peace. The race of life is on for lion and vulture, but both animals could win. Once the lion has eaten his fill, he will leave, and the vultures will get their chance with the leftovers. Vultures help us all win our race of life. They are the undertakers of the animal world. By removing the remains of dead animals, they keep our forests and fields clean, and for that, we owe the humble vulture a big thank you. A hunter who relies on stealth makes her home in these forests. She's fast, but her prey have no warning she's coming. This bird can fly as silently as a summer breeze. The owl, 
she runs her race of life with a unique ability to be a quiet killer. Sharp eyes and sharp talons descend from the sky in a silent and sudden swoop. These striking predators have been around since the day the dinosaurs died out. They have been winning their race of life for over 60 million years. They are stunning creatures with remarkable abilities. Owls are birds of prey and they are very successful. Over 200 different species exist today. The size range is enormous. The world's biggest owl is 150 times bigger than the smallest. The great horned owl is one of the biggest and has been known to attack humans who come too close to her. These young great horned owls will grow up to be apex predators with almost no natural enemies. But like most raptors, the owl's race of life is tough from the moment she's born. The stronger chick will fight for food and grow bigger, while the smaller one will become even weaker until he can no longer compete. The surviving chick may even eat her dead sibling. The Phantom of the North, also known as the Great Grey Owl. This one has heard something in the ground below. His huge face funnels the tiniest rustle in the grass to his ears. He can use sound to precisely home in on a small mouse or vole. Owl flight is also unique. The key to her silent movement is in her feathers. Their serrated edges and velvet smooth surface allow her to slip through the air, causing almost no disturbance. As the sun sets, the owls of the daylight prepare to rest. But there's no rest for the small mammals and reptiles that owls like to eat. Most owls are nocturnal, and they are expert at seeking prey in the dark. The forest below looks peaceful, but it hides many small animals running for their lives. A smorgasbord for hungry owls. Unlike many birds, owls have eyes on the front of their faces, so they can see in 3D. Excellent for pinpointing prey. The barn owl is about to begin her night hunting. She needs to kill and eat about six times every night to survive. She watches and listens intently. Every sense is highly tuned as she tries to work out where to search for food. This mouse is not aware she is nearby. But his movements are nervous and quick to minimize his chance of being caught. The race of life between mouse and owl has begun. The owl begins the game. Only one animal will win. She's capable of hovering if she thinks there might be prey hidden in the undergrowth. But this time, she doesn't need to. The mouse has been spotted. The race of life is over for our little rodent, and today the owl has won. Raptors have evolved in many ways, from the eagle, the falcon, the kestrel, the owl, and the vulture. Each has adapted to find food and survive. They are all masters of the air and supreme hunters. They are all victors in the race of life in the air.